how are you guys today on this video i will be introducing you guys to trigonometry now with trigonometry there are a few things that you need to know first of all we need to know the trigonometric functions your sign your course and your time and also there are reciprocals they are inverses but on this video I'm just going to show you where exactly do we use our trigonometric functions. Now, before I start, you need to know that we're going to focus on the following trigonometric functions. In this case, we're going to start with sine, cos, and tan. Now, where exactly do we use these trigonometric functions? If you still remember, we have what you call a Cartesian plane, like this one here. And this is your x, and that is your y. And that is your y. Sorry, I almost write it in the wrong way. And that is your y here. Now, if you do this, you draw the line here. This becomes a right angle triangle. Now, guys, you need to understand that this is coming from the Cartesian plane. Now, I'm going to erase this part so that we left only with a right angle triangle. So, this is where actually where we use this thing here, the trigonometric functions. Now, this is a Pythagoras theorem or theorem of Pythagoras as well. Now, make sure that you... When you use this information here, the, what I'm about to show you, make sure that this triangle is 90 degrees here. Alright, so, as you can see, this triangle has three sides. One of the sides is the longest. So, the longest side, we call it hypotenuse. I'm just going to write hype to abbreviate it. So, this side here, we call it hypotenuse. It's a long side on your right angle triangle. So, do not forget that one. And then, now, opposite and adjacent, it depends on your angle. In our case, at the moment for this example, let's put our angle here. Let's call this angle theta. So, when our angle is here, now, this side becomes opposite. So, I'm going to write opposite. Pay attention, I only wrote opposite based on where the angle is, okay? So, when it comes to hypotenuse, it doesn't matter where the angle is. As long as the side is the longest side and this is the right angle triangle, then the longest side is the hypotenuse. Now, the, the adjacent, or before we talk about the adjacent, why do we call this side opposite? Now, the reason why we call it opposite, it's because of the following information. This angle here is facing this side. This angle is facing this side. So, it, when it's facing this side, we call it opposite. That's the reason why it is opposite. Now, what about the last side of the triangle? This side here, we call it adjacent adjacent then how do you know whether this side is adjacent why or why do we call it adjacent it's adjacent because of the following information that i'm about to show you now as you can see the angle is here so this side is adjacent because this side here is next to the angle this side is next to the angle hence we call it adjacent let me just remove that. So this side here is next to the angle. So the weight adjacent, it means next to. It means next to or nearby. Alright. So, remember, we have uh, these trigonometric functions. So, what are these trigonometric functions? Now, let's start with sine. Sine theta, in this case, is opposite Oh, sorry, it's opposite over hypotenuse. Right, so sine theta 
because we have theta here hence we say sine theta it's opposite over hypotenuse so we must able to see which one is opposite which one is hypotenuse in order for you to know exactly so since our opposite is y we can say sine for this triangle is y over oh by the way hypotenuse usually it's r usually r for radius so we can say it's y over r it is not always like this pay attention to that it's not always y over r but in this case it is y over r all right so let's uh find what is cos theta now cos theta on this triangle is adjacent over hypotenuse so always guys it's gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse all right look guys this is always like that so cos theta or cos it is always adjacent over hypotenuse but on this triangle since our adjacent is x and our hypotenuse is r so it's gonna be x over r i repeat again this x over r is not always cos theta it depends on our theta because our theta is here hence this is like that i hope you guys understand okay now let's uh, do the last one which is tan theta now tan theta is gonna be opposite over adjacent so tan theta or tan is always opposite over adjacent but in this case since our opposite is on the y so it's going to be y and since our adjacent is x it's going to be x so in this case on this triangle tan theta is y over x bear in mind it is not always like this because our angle here can always change can be here and once our angle is on the other side this may change all right so this is the video just to introduce you guys to our trigonometric functions and how exactly we got our opposite opportunities from this triangle so on the next coming video i'll be showing you guys the reciprocals and the emphasis of these three trigonometric functions. Yeah.